Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. Got some defensive tips for you today. Today, I'm going to be going over tips specifically to being a better user defender, which I think is something that a lot of people probably struggle with. You can have a great play, but until you become a better user defender, it's really going to be hard to uh, stop people in this game. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and go over that. Uh, number one, I would say, I mean, right here, I'm just using a basic cover three blitz. The blitz is not really important. It's effective, and you'll see that. But I just wanted to show what defense I'm in because that's going to be important down the line. So I'm in a cover three blitz. And I'm pointing that out because rule number one is know your weakness. What's the weakness of your defense? Cover threes have a couple different weaknesses, but one that you can affect the most is in the seams. Because as a user middle linebacker, you're right in the area that you need to be to basically follow receivers back and cut off those lanes. So knowing that I'm in a cover three, I know what defense I'm in. I have to assume that my opponent does too, even though I know a lot of people don't. But still, I assume that he knows that I'm in a cover three, so I have to cover the weakness of the cover three first, which is typically the seams. Number two is play the percentages. In this scenario, I'm going to play the percentages pre-snap. I have to come in, like I said, I have to come in and be over this tackle to make this blitz work. But ultimately, I have to make a choice where I'm either going to start the play on the right side or the left. And I'm going to choose which side based off of how many of the receivers there are. In this particular play, there's three receivers on the right side compared to two on the left. It's simple math. 60% of the receivers are on the right, so I have to start on the right. Don't overthink these things. If there was more receivers on the other side, I would have to flip the play, reset the blitz do all that but i have to play the percentages properly if there's more receivers on one side of the field that's where you should start to play every single time so then as the play starts i already know what i'm going to do as the ball's hiked i immediately drop back as if i'm covering the seams then when the play turns into a slant i immediately adjust knowing that the seam is taken care of and then all i have to do is tip number three stay at home do my assignment do my job the only way that I'm going to break that tendency of doing my job and doing what is asked of me by the computer's, you know, diagram of defense, which in this particular case is cover the middle, the only way that I would do that, break that, is if there's a threat of a touchdown. If there's a play that he's trying to beat me up the seam, which would score a one-play touchdown against a cover three, then obviously I got to play that first. But I also have to make sure that I'm in position. That's why I'm saying when the play starts, you want to make sure that you're covering that, that most vulnerable thing first. So you can actually be in position to make a play. Now, in the very next play, my opponent may makes a good read that's an easy read there's no immediate zone in that cover three to cover that area so he makes a space read and that brings me to my next tip no one to switch it up don't get stuck in a defense so long because it worked once a while ago the second you think your opponent has figured something out you have to switch it and do something different now he's running a hurry up because he's hoping that i can't think this fast and that if he controls the tempo that he can easily take away any preparation time i have to make adjustments but he doesn't know that i immediately switch to a cover two which you know has a lot more yellow zones which is going to help out if he thinks that he can still make that short throw which obviously he thinks he can he almost throws an interception right there because he doesn't realize that i quickly switched it over to a cover two that's what knowing your weakness is about that's also knowing your strengths are about cover two is a much stronger defense over the middle that's why it had the success that it did so fourth down and that brings me to number five play the situation that's going to be a bigger indicator than just about anything else in this game on this next play i'm going to follow all the same fundamentals that i just laid down number one i'm going to know what the weakness is of this defense it's a man coverage there's no safety help but based off of the fact that this is a fourth and two i don't really think he's going to threaten a play like that especially since i'm sending a pretty pretty heavy blitz so i know i can eliminate any long throws so on a play like this nine times out of ten your opponent's going to try to just get a fourth and two so against this defense i know right off the bat only so many things are going to beat this defense for a fourth and two a drag route a slant uh, something that comes across over the middle, that would be something that would beat this play. So I have to immediately use that. So since I know there's three receivers on the left side of the field, I pretty much know that's where the play is going to start. So I know that if there's anything that's going to beat this defense realistically that people run, it's going to be either a slant or a drag. I know that before the play even starts, and I know that I'm in position to make a play if that's what happens. So we get a turnover on downs there. Later in the game, this is going to look exactly the same because, like I said, this is a system. This is something that you can do over and over and over. I'm running a very 
very similar cover three blitz. The reason it's in a different formation is because, like I said before, you have to switch it up. He probably started picking that blitz up, so I switched over to a big nickel over G, which is essentially the exact same concept. So it still has the same effectiveness, but it looks completely different. So my opponent doesn't, hopefully, he doesn't pick up on the fact that I'm running the exact same outside blitz in a cover three. When the play starts, I'm going to cover my weakness just like I've been doing all game in the cover three, even though I have to come down over the center for this blitz to work. I'm going to drop back as fast as I can up that seam. As you can see, my opponent pretty much had it diagnosed for the most part, probably would have had success, but I was there to take that play away. And once again, the blitz is going to come in scot-free like it's been doing this entire game. So we got the sack. My opponent is going to be, you know, continuously running. Hurry up here. Um, this is just, you know, for this next down, I just got to do my job. Second and 18, just make sure I get him to a third and manageable for me. On the very next play, we get pressure once again, and uh, my opponent almost throws it into a crowd, uh, which gets me to a critical situation one more time. And this is where I have to make sure that I'm playing this situation like it's a fourth down, because if he gets no yards on a play like this, he's going to punt it away. So number one, I got to play the weakness of my defense first, just like I always do, because I can't give up one play touchdown in this scenario. So that's number one. I got to make sure that I get back, cover that streak. There's more receivers on the right side once again, so I got to play where the most receivers are. And then last but not least, I have to play the situation because this is the third and 18. He's probably not going to get all of it in one play, and he probably knows that. So I'm sure he'd be pretty happy just to get about half of that back. And since I know that the weakness of this particular defense is the lack of coverage over the middle, I can pretty much guarantee that that's where the play is going to go. So I go through my steps one more time. I go through my formula, and sure enough, I get an interception as my opponent is trying to go right up the streaks. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys like this video and want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section if the like button is always and if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe other than that thanks for watching man money shut out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below